Ho, 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 ho! <laughs> jingle right, bells, oh, jingle yeah, really. bells. <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> okay. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you all. Merry Christmas. I hope we're doing okay with sound levels and such. Merry Grimbus! <laughs> Merry Cringebus. Can we get a report in the chat, please? Please, chat. Are the sound levels good? Mic check. Mic check. I'm going to assume they are. Hello, nice to see you. Welcome to the Haven and Hearth 2023 Christmas stream. I'm in. Uh, we, uh, sound is the, is the anything working in this. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's good. And I so yeah, welcome to the Christmas stream, Haven and Hearth, havenandhearth.com, your friendly neighborhood MMORPG survival, freeform building, all that stuff. And we are the dynamic developer duo. I'm Bjorn, aka Jorb. I'm Frederick, aka Loftar. Indeed. And uh, we are here to, uh, I don't really know what. We're going to push a patch tonight that's on the agenda for a show. That it is. And uh, the observant among you can, I'm sure, already see some of the glorious stuff that we have in this patch right here. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. But uh, I don't know about you guys, we need to get out on the snow here with the, the little snowmobile that we added. So, uh, yeah, one of, the th one of the things that we'll be adding tonight are tameable reindeer. Woohoo! You can now tame reindeer, and uh, you can uh, also build a sleigh. So, uh, that we felt was uh, fitting, uh, fitting stuff. Uh, for the season. For the season. Look, we're on, we're in spring here. It's turned to spring. Are we? Yeah. Look at the trees. They're all green and stuff. Oh, you. Yeah, you restarted the service, so yep. the fourth season isn't affected sure. any longer. Right? Because I <laughs> I just did magic. I just dev hacked winter. So this is not a real winter. This is a fake winter. But uh, yeah, in any event, long time no see. As per use, as is as is the standard. Mm -hmm. Ah, what a what a uh, what a fall! It's been pretty intense. Everything that is going on in life, but very good to be here. Very excited for Christmas. Uh, one of my favorite times of year for sure. So uh, I hope you all have been good as well. I hope the game is treating you well, and uh, and that the the season is being kind to you all. It's nice to see you. Um, we're gonna do the usual. We're gonna push the patch. We're gonna chit chat. We're gonna, I'm probably gonna jump onto the real server and probably roll up a new character and fumble around as per as is as is procedure. <laughs> as is procedure indeed. <laughs> Just like last year, James. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or whatever the name is. Same procedure as last same, year. Same as last year indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely love to see. It. Um, yeah, so uh, without further ado, should we just get to pushing the patch? Get to, patch get to that patch on, get and to the hot patch on energy. Um, so, yeah, how y'all been? It's nice to see you. Are we excited? And as you can see, some of the reindeer can have these red cancer noses at times. Or what do you call, what do you call the nose of a deer? I mean, you say Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, at least. You certainly do. You certainly that is true. do. Uh, so I'll be, uh, I'll be announcing the, the restart. Yeah, for sure. We're going to restart the real server. So anyone on the real server will be right back after these messages from our sponsor. Hello Fresh. No, I'm kidding. We're not, <laughs> we're not sponsored by Hello Fresh. <laughs> we're, we're not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> We're sponsored by you, the community. That's the, the no, best that kind true. of sponsor. That is true. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to, us, to our sponsor then, I guess. Yeah, so shout out to our, all our sponsors. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's great that we can collab. I, I've noticed that like every YouTuber uh, in, on, on the face of the planet is sponsored by HelloFresh. <laughs> that is my observation. So yeah, reindeer, 
we do love to see it. Let's slay back and uh, have a look at the cute icon that I drew for the cattle roster as well. You want to see the cute <laughs> icon, right? I have lost my way. I have no, there we go. <laughs> it's, it's hard multitasking. So I had to turn down the render scale in order for my computer to be able to manage both OBS and uh, and the game. Or whatever the problem was. Or whatever the problem is or was. Um, so yeah, we were gonna do this. We're gonna memorize some deer, and then we're gonna open the cattle roster. Oh. We can now have reindeer. Oh, you added all, all kinds of names here. Yeah, I, I told you. Wow, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> they, some, they can be called Comet, Dancer, Rudolph, all the, all the bowler's names. <laughs> that was a nice touch, adding all of them. I should maybe uh, do a full-on full list for all the animals. I think that should be a top priority going into 2024. <laughs> 2024, that's crazy. Dang, son. I'm old. I turned 40, 40 this year, so confirmed boomer. And then? Boomer, boomerism intensifies. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to post the patch, patch my notes. Am I right? Oh, no, you need to, you you need need to, to get the resources. Bake the resources first. You need to bake the resources so that y'all have the icons that y'all deserve. So, uh, tame buck. buckaroo. So, yeah, these are obviously a reskin of the normal reindeer. But I, I thought they turned out okay. Right? They turned out okay. And I can show you the cool Christmas hats that we're adding. Boom, this is the cool sheriff's hat that I'm wearing. And we also have the gingerbread wizard's hat. Do, 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 do. Pretty neat. And the one that Rudolph was, wear, was wearing. The Yule Sun hat. Absolutely love to see it. Three hats, as is per standard. Zantet69 says, a sheriff's hat with a novel design. I sense a touch, a touch of sarcasm in, in what he says. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I uh, Send me cool hats, I guess. I, uh, I tend to go for the shapes that I like, so I tend to, to make infinite versions of them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, not much of a... It's been a while since I wore a hat, apart from the, the uh, Santa hat here. I've never been much of a hat person. <laughs> I think few people are these days. Um, and uh, let's see. What are we talking about in the chat? Uh, smart Peacaroon says. Sa Samart Peacaroon says. Any consideration about bug fixings and forum moderation? I think forum moderation would be good. For sure, I think we, we should probably increase the moderator team. Um, I've noticed that the, the forums tend to grow a bit wild when I'm not observing them with uh, intensity. So uh, that could be a cool project for next year, for sure. Um, let's see what else we have going on. As for bug fixes, there are a couple coming, I guess? Yeah, there are a couple coming. We did have a look at the reported bugs on the forum, at least. Um, what else do we have? Uh, <laughs> Zent that says, I heard you guys were going to uncurfew all the forum accounts as a Christmas gift. What a beautiful holiday gesture. Uh, I don't know where you heard that, man, but your sources are way off. We ain't unbanning no one. Everyone stays in jail. We'll go straight to jail. Believe it or not, jail. No, I, uh, if, if you have an account, if you've been a good boy this year, and if you have an account that you really want uh, un unmuted or whatever, then uh, maybe PM me and maybe in between all the eggnogs and the Christmas presents that I shall momentarily be attending to, maybe I will consider your request to be 
undone from the flames or on the we don't ban people. It's more like a soft ban. It's like it, it, it seems to you that you can post things, but you can't actually. No one can actually read it. So it's kind of like a Chinese censorship thing. I think the uh, proper term is shadow banning. Yeah, shadow banning. Boom. Or shadow banning. Reminds me of uh, one of my favorite SNES games, Shadow Run, which was an extremely based game back in the days. Did you play Shadow Run? Have you played it? No, I still haven't played it. I know you recommended it to me, but. Uh, you gotta but I ignored that. Yeah. Uh, understandable. You gotta get that emulator energy going, dog, mm -hmm. and uh, fire up Shadow Run. It was one of the best uh, RPGs for the SNES. Uh, Bot Rando says this is a SNES yeah. game. Uh, SNES compatible when? That's the real question. Like it would be extremely huge if we could get H and H to run on the. Yeah, truly, that would be <laughs> that would be quite the accomplishment. I thought. Are you are you on that? <laughs> <laughs> when can we? <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> no other weapons from a more civilized age. <laughs> Have you been playing anything lately, apart from Halo? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh, not, not apart from uh, replaying and replaying Super Mario 3 for the uh, 11 on Teams time. There, I have, uh, the resources have now been baked. The resources have been baked. We shall push the patch notes. Oh, uh, the patch notes are live. I shall drop the link in the chat. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Shall unsticky the old patch notes. Change that to a standard topic. It would be really nice if we didn't uh, use the 2009 version of PHPBB forever for these forums. Don't you agree? Boom. Have you handed out the, the hats? I'm in the process of doing that. We are distributing the uh, hat mass. <laughs> Snuggle Snail is really excited about Forager. Um, is that so? Okay, so let's see. So, 30 second advertisement says uh, removing speed buffs from Forager and Bunny Slippers kind of breaks PvP. Cringe. Because that's interesting, because here we've been and you've been yapping about the Bunny Slippers being broken in PvP forever, and now you inform me that they need to be the way they always were. I'm confused. Please explain yourself. Um, Destroyer nine one teen nine nineteen says, "Are you considering bringing back any older hats into rotation at some point?" Uh, no, we get that question from time to time. Uh, I kind of I don't know. We the have answer is always the same. Yeah, the answer is always the same. Maybe, uh, but not actually. Like uh, the um, the the the. the uh, we have felt that people who have uh, invested in them. Yeah, for sure. We don't want to like ruin the, the aftermarket value of them or whatever. Um, but um, so uh, we at least approach the um, the concept of reprinting them with uh, with caution. That being said, I'm not entirely uh, opposed to perhaps. Oops! I accidentally I realized I accidentally turned the uh, the order of the uh, the hats around. Is that a big deal? Uh, um, <laughs> it will take some time to re to uh, to revert it. Uh, how, or how did you turn around the order? You know? and I gave the hat that was announced for bronze subscribers to gold subscribers, and the other way around. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, weird energy, but uh, okay, weird weird flex, but okay. I'll <laughs> I'll uh, update the post maybe. But that confuses the pricing of them. Not that I'm like super concerned or whatever, but 
But okay. I can fix it, it will just take some time. Okay. But maybe fix it then. If it, it will take some time though. Okay. Then maybe not fix it then. Okay. Merry Christmas. You you get you get the hats in a different order. That's the kind of stuff that can happen when you're uh, live and, uh, and uh, without safety nets. This is this is the truly the uh, the unit tested development pipeline that we uh, love to see. Uh, let's see now. So these guys got the cool sheriff's hat, mm -hmm. and these guys that one st stays the same. Mm -hmm. And these guys got the the Yule Sun hat. And it. Okay. okay, there we go. Boom. Fun stuff happens. Never mind the hats. Never mind the bolts. Um, let's see. French B11 asks. Um, uh, B -b -b shrimp dungeon when? Shrimp dungeon. That was that was not my first idea of a new dungeon. No, for sure not. Uh, <laughs> I I didn't see shrimp dungeon coming as a as a key request. What do you think about shrimp dungeons, my man? I think there are other more prioritized dungeons, and I I suspect it might have been slightly jokier. Yeah, probably. So which dungeons would you would should we do? Like let's say because we've been pushing the the smaller. I, I, I don't know if you can see me on screen right now, but like it's kind of we're, we're crammed, crammed into this tight space. I don't know if you can see how tight the space is here, but it's like really tight. So I don't think that helps. So um, <laughs> that was that was maybe. It. So maybe if I lean lean back into the chair, chair, maybe that fucked up the audio. Oh, effed up the audio as well. I don't know. There we go. So uh, we've been pushing like minor. Um, Dungeons, right? Like these uh, kind of uh, pseudo dungeons, mm -hmm. so to speak, the little uh, minor instances. Um, how do you? How do we feel about? How do we feel about that? Like, how do we feel about the next big dungeon? Let's say we were to make a big dungeon. Which which big dungeon would be would we be excited for? Feel free to chime in, chat. Uh, shrimp dungeon is more than any other dungeon. I'm I'm unironically not opposed to shrimp dungeon. It kind of sound, sounds like fun. Oh look, I'm I'm off centered in the stream as well. I'm because I've I've full screened the the client, so uh, I'm the 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 view here is not centered on my character. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's something to improve upon. That's future tech stuff for next stream, maybe to consider that. Um, troll dungeon, troll dungeon is a good one actually. And I it, it is perhaps, but uh, I think there's a case to be made that. Uh, you know, for the uh, large boss kind of animals, there is a case to be made that the AI would need to be improved for it to be fun. Would it? Arguably, at least. Well, how can the sleigh not run over little animals, my friend? It does. But the reindeer doesn't, or? Uh, yeah, that could very well. That that could quite possibly be. Uh, we were gonna have fun there. We were gonna check, check on the other hand, how is can that, how uh, is that, my uh, how is ice, my uh, movement uh, speed on ice? That that however, zero is less is less is less intended. Oof. Oof. This is the this is the this is the stuff we, we, I have to work with. Um, no indicator says please share your thoughts about broken siege mechanic this world. Um, please share your uh, conception of why the siege mechanic is broken and we can have a discussion about it. Um, um, Snuggle Snail says, please admire the loot post I made in the thread several bugs in siege machines. It's very filled with Crimbus spirit. I'll, I'll, I'll be make sure to avail my, myself of that. Um, Because bleeping catapult can destroy walls. Hmm. Well, indeed, we we did that because we didn't think it would matter. Yeah, I suppose it, maybe it, it does matter more than 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 one could think. 
I mean, I think our, our idea there was that people would sally out and destroy the siege machines, since you can do that kind of quick, right? It's only a few minutes to destroy them. Mm -hmm. But... I mean, well, I mean, perhaps rather it shouldn't perhaps be more difficult to destroy a a catapult than a battering ram, but of course that's not necessarily true. Yeah, but the battering ram is going to be within range of the towers. It is. Hmm. Hmm, something to consider for sure. First reaction is, n is uh, first, first action is no reaction. Um, so... The only way, Dermano says, the only way to siege someone is if they are not defending at all. That was kind of what I thought, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Do not nerf siege even more, please. Okay, maybe not. There, there seems to be seems a to cacophony be. <laughs> of a opinions. Spe a spectrum of opinions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> many, many opinions <laughs> shine forth from the community. The... Uh, the aggregated insights of the proletarian masses gush forth. Um, yeah, there, then I will be starting the real server again. Tada! It is a crim crimbus miracle, truly. And you fixed the uh, sleigh so that it can run on ice properly? I did. That is very kind of you, sir. Uh, let's see. Uh, Storm says, multiple cities have been sieged this world. The only successful defense has been whatever bay. Alright, that's cool that they managed to defend themselves. You love to see that. Uh, Sheppy Hands says, I always loved the siege mechanics of Shadowbane. Feel free to uh, expound on the siege mechanics of Shadowbane. You know what would be kind of cool in, in the in, in when we do live streams? It would be kind of cool to be able to put someone on voice chat so that we can have a co conversation with, with some of the people here. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Perhaps. <laughs> I'm going to maybe investigate a technical solution for that. We'll strongly consider that. We can have a call-in show. Like uh, your friendly neighborhood uh, MMORPG developers. It's like developer DJ. Yeah, developer DJ, definitely. Um, Mad Gonad says, do you have some statement on the bug raid on Mole Hill by whatever bay? No, I do not. I am not familiar with the details of this. Mm, largely because I have not... Uh, I'm, I have a bit of a backlog on my in my inboxes. I'll put it that way. Uh, Cycling Mimosa says interviews with top players and custom client makers. When that could that would that would be fun. I think that would that would actually be a nice change of pace here to to our ramblings and fumbling fumblings around. Um, so so there's that for sure for sure for sure. Wouldn't that be fun? Perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> I think that would be uh, up to the audience to, uh, to decide. That is true. That is absolutely true. Let's build something cool. Uh, let's see. Ardennes is always available for interviews, says Zent at 69. That's sweet. That's very kind of him. Uh, is... is are dance still not a thing, or is, is it? I, I think so, uh, but I think there is a so there are some kind of, there are some kind of success client. Mm -hmm. Indeed, they have evolved. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I think that's the remaining old render client. Ah, right. So they they haven't gotten with the the new and updated cool rendering times then. Indeed. You don't love to see that. When should we pull the plug on the old resources? I actually haven't uh, haven't uh, baked the old resources for the last uh, three updates, including yeah. this one. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it seems they are uh, uh, pulling the. I, I've I've seen in the HTTP logs that they seem to be pulling the uh, resources from the new from the new client. Not sure how they handle incompatibilities, but uh, well, if they do, then maybe maybe that's their problem. It is, but uh, nevertheless. Yeah, I'm just thinking may maybe we're cool then, or... I, I, I honestly don't know. Well, not with that attitude, <laughs> you don't. See, 
Ozzy Wonderchild, you guys should make speed buffs not usable in combat now that you nerfed Forger and Slippers. Speed buffs? What do you mean the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the wind? The wind chimes? I mean... <laughs> right. <laughs> if we make them not usable in combat, then I think we just remove them altogether. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure. No, they they only serve a purpose in in combat. Indeed. So no, no, that we can't do that. Um, uh, Robertson says, "What have you guys been up to? Week updates after wife?" To be honest, at Bruderborn, no, I kind of maybe agree with that. Uh, I the patches haven't been like super strong or whatever. Um, they are what they are because we have the time to give it that we have to give it, I suppose. Uh, and there's uh, there's a lot on my plate as I hinted on in, in kind of the last stream. I have. Again, I, I turned forty this year, so like back in the days we used to pull long midnight sessions, and now we only pull the sessions until like two a.m. in the morning. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting old, man. It's uh, it's, it's, the, it's the, the the dark. Did you notice that bug? Yes, I, I am aware of that bug, but I never managed to reproduce it when it uh, when I tried to fix it. It's really annoying. Though. Yes. So uh, let's go. Um, helping Handera says, when will we get this feature to make cliffs? You can already you build can already cliffs, cliffs in the game. It's just that you need to uh, use the proper resources. Um, let's see. Eating all the mushrooms says, congratulations, welcome to being middle-aged. Thank you. Uh, I, I've enjoyed it thus far. It make, makes a lot of sense, uh, given my, my life circumstances otherwise. So uh, it, uh, it feels very reasonable. I actually, I, I, don't know, I don't know if you know, but in Sweden we have a system. We have a system, Bolag it's called, uh, which is the only store that, where you can buy liquor. And I went there the other day. And uh, they asked me for ID. <laughs> Same here, actually. <laughs> well, Quite weird, with, to be honest. With the baby face, I could see it, man. But, like, <laughs> this rugged old silver fox of a man, I, I, I failed to see how, why they would ask me for ID. <laughs> but I, I was like, damn, girl, I'm flattered. That's very kind of you, too. <laughs> because when you were young, that was like the nightmare, was being called out on having an ID, especially if you didn't have an ID. So... Uh, that was, but now it's it's the inverse. That's funny how perspectives change, right? <laughs> Shocky says, "Nerf Storm of Swords, please." It's straight up bonkers, just as jugular uh, was, but actually better in mass PvP. Is Shocky right, people? Can we get the cacophony online? Is, is Shocky uh, Storm Storm's Blade Forty Two says it's not broken at all. I, I judge by your name, Storm's Blade Forty Two, that you you have a part and you you're you're, you're uh, <laughs> you, are, you might uh, not have a musical. You, you, exactly, you're biased in this because clearly you have have uh, a proclivity for for storming with swords. Uh, hand holding degenerate says highest opening move only for two IP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, too powerful for two IP investment says Ardans TV. Um, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, here's I, I I straight up don't know. I straight up don't know if I should nerf it or buff it. You Obviously, could. this is the usual problem with PvP. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but I, I don't also don't want to just wash my hands of the whole affair. So maybe if you could present your argument in a succinct form and send it to me, and I will consider it. But, yeah, it's kind of hard with the, the fighting balances because I... I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> to be quite honest, I don't. I don't know if the moves are are too OP, or I. I don't. I'm not. I'm not in sync with the current meta, as it were. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you ain't reading a shit. People send you on Discord. No, that's true. For the for the fall here, I have been ignoring Discord. So that is that is correct and accurate, sir. I guilty as charged. talk to someone who is ask top fighters hello I am asking top fighters I just get the impression that first of all like ask top fighters that would 
then I would need to know who the top fighters are. I mean, I, I'm not saying I have no idea, but... Uh, yeah, but certainly not the exhaustive idea. I, exactly. Like, I, I know a few forum names that tend to pop up when it comes to PvP. Uh, and... Uh, but I don't want to be beholden to the PvP special interests either, so... So, you know. You know, you know. Um... Let's, uh, let's, let's do this. So, uh, just doing some flattening here. And I mean, that being said, even if you ask top PVPers, there is usually a quite a kind of a spectrum of opinions there, even even there. That has been my experience for show. But I don't know. Maybe maybe those arguments aren't like ultimately good. Like maybe just because it's difficult, maybe that's not an argument for not touching it ever. If this is true. So uh, Clement says, "Want me to make a video of Storm of Sword for demonstration and send to you later?" To be honest, I ha I have had uh, videos of PvP sent to me, and I I I, I can't parse them. Yeah, that that yeah that 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 is for sure. Like some some I it, it happens that I get video from people with like PvP scenes in it, and I observe people chasing one another, and I observe you know people fighting, etc. But I it, it often happens that the person sending them to me seems to think that it is obvious what is going on in the video, whereas I'm just I I don't know. So. It is not quite that obvious. What's the latest news about Oko at Bruder Bone? What's the latest news about Oko, my friend? I don't think we have any news to share, unfortunately. No news to share, unfortunately. You hate to see it, but there, that, that is where we're, we are at. Um, Bob Dole is not the best PvPer. Um, have you checked on the bug that some characters, not even whole clients or accounts, are unable to see prospecting arrows slash cones. It effed up some mining this world. I have not seen this bug. No, I have not seen it either. Uh, um, please consider to improve range of the siege tower, as they needed to be placed behind the palisade and they do not provide any protection as range is too low. Is this See, just a problem because of catapults? Likely, yeah. I mean, I, I assume. Hmm. Feel free to answer. Because Siege, I feel more inclined to make adjustments to. Uh, so, I don't know. I can't, my, my, our reasoning was that, like, since we made the siege machines easy to destroy, that would kind of make the siege towers not as necessary for defense. I also don't remember why it is that we buffed catapults, though. I think the reasoning was that it was just arbitrary that they couldn't damage walls, and that it would be more realistic if they could. Mm. I, I don't think that's what the, that was the reasoning, but I, I, I can't remember. It's all a blur to me, man. Um, let's see. Uh, siege engines can not hurt archery towers until 24 hours, so buffing them is a bad idea, I think. Um, Clemnit says the five minute bash is a great balance to the catapult thing. Alright. That's good. That's good to hear. Uh, Ardennes TV says kill the old render branch or no balls. I'm tempted to agree with you. Um, well, I mean, like I said, I haven't updated the old render resources for the last three updates, so there's that. Maybe uh, nuke them first thing next year, then. Perhaps. I would love, because we have been announcing it in well well in due time, right? Mm -hmm. What happened here? Uh, that's the... Uh, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, naughty. Okay, right? Yes. Ooh, laddie. There we go. That was what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was... <laughs> 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 I 
Okay. We'll, we'll roll with it. <laughs> You can kind of see the tiling of the uh, oh, actually yes tiling of the tile set here. I hate to see that. Um, <laughs> control plus Z. Yeah, unfortunately, Control plus Z is not implemented. Why is Control plus Z not implemented? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Please fix. It. <laughs> this is broken. This is done. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Frozen Fox says, whatever bay stands for as long as World 15 is online. You love to see it. Gondor shall not fall. Oh, you love to see that. It's extremely based. Is it, is it getting hot in here? I yeah. feel it is kind of hot in here. It is getting the, hot. Uh, the, these uh, these uh, <laughs> Yule caps are kind of outdoor. <laughs> outdoor uh, well, 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 how, how do you say must in English? Cap. So surely there's a better word for a warm, for a, a cap intended to be warm. You don't say cap, right? This is my cap, this is my hat, this is my... Uh, head warmer. Head warmer. <laughs> this is my, my head warmer. <laughs> um, uh, you've been urging killing off old renders since July 31st, 2020 game development, Alchemical Adventures. Indeed, I would imagine it's, it's, it's somewhere around then. So that's... I mean, the reason we haven't is because I've been following the client statistics and seeing that like a third of players use our guns. Right. Um, so that's the reason. So this has been a kind kindness on our on our part. Mm -hmm. to, so as to not... Uh, <laughs> Our swords were like a monsoon against your pathetic hides. I, Frozen Fox is a funny man. Um, spawn a blue truffle right now to prove that it's real. I can do that, right? What are they called? Uh, do we, we dispense those, right? Uh, what? Uh, spawn what? Blue truffles. Uh, no, I think they are items. Okay. There we go. There we go. Blue truffles, sir. Let's see if anyone has discovered blue truffles, perhaps. I'm gonna zoom in. My mouse wheel is broken, so. Oh! No, no one has seen blue, blue truffles. Blue truffles, sir. Boop, boop, boop! And they thought they were just a myth. Very cool. Can you use it on food? No, but you can when you find them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when more upstate updates for PVE Farmville players? More LARP stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think we did a few things like during spring where we like added the, you know, the big fat toad quest giver, for example, and we added, um, yeah, we began adding like the, the wolves den, the wolf dens and the foxholes and the badger sets and Okay. All that stuff, and I think that was, I thought that was a fun development route, relatively speaking. Um, also, I mean, we're obviously going to have to add a, a, a new cheese tree for reindeer milk. <laughs> <laughs> and arguably horse milk as well. We should make that Mongolian uh, horse uh, All right, they, 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 that is horse milk, 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 isn't it? They, they, yeah, they have fermented horse milk is the thing. Yeah, yes, I, I am aware of their fermented f fermented milk, but but I wasn't sure if it was actually horse milk. But uh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, no, no, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it's horse yeah. milk. So. I just I wonder why horse milk isn't more of a thing in the West then. That's a good question. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I I feel you. Like a horse doesn't strike me as an animal that you would milk. Mm -hmm. But apparently, yet you if you're holding horses, why would you not milk them then? For sure, I don't know. Maybe because maybe like maybe it just doesn't taste as good. Yeah, maybe maybe like the the they don't maybe they don't give as much milk as cows, so there's no reason. Like, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Please chat chime in with your opinions on horse milk. Why is <laughs> it not more of a thing? But reindeer milk is a thing, at least among the Sami. I googled it, so I'm pretty yes. sure that's the case. 
Uh, when are you going to add donkeys? Yeah, that's a good question. Donkeys and arguably mules as well while, while we're at it. It would be easy to add. <laughs> kind of useless to add perhaps, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know, like uh, donkeys and mules, like pack animals is what you use those for IRL, right? I'm not sure how, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't be fun, but I'm not sure how useful donkeys would be in Haven. But they're cute. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> not well. arguing against it. Um, are there any more items that haven't been seen by anyone yet this world? Is that a difficult query to... Yes, to I, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the database only contains items that have been seen. Indeed. <coughs> um, there is one faction, whatever bay, that would stood a siege against four other factions at the same time. They use Storm mm. of Swords. <laughs> but sh you seem to be pulling my lever. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Those four other factions are just salty because uh, they were using B12, Cleave, Meta, and blah blah blah. So maybe you were being serious there. I can't quite tell, but uh, okay, interesting. Um, Storm of Sword OP. Domestic ducks. Ducks would be fun. Uh, how would how would we do ducks? Because I imagine you want a pawn for ducks. If, <laughs> if we were to implement a pawn, I'm thinking like we could have a, a, a pawn as an object, right? As a game, mm, you think? We, we could. I mean, I, I, I know that we could, but uh, it could be a good idea. I think. Like you build a little pond, and then there's a mirror of water on it, and mm. so it's not actually a water tile per se, but it's it's a pond. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Press F for respect. Or <laughs> D, uh, D no, for perhaps. Doubt. Perhaps. Uh, just uh, wondering, is that how you would actually cultivate uh, ducks in real life? I don't know, man. Ducks live in a pond, for sure. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I mean, my understanding is that wild ducks might live in a pond. No, no you, you have to apply like the, the heroes of Might and Magic 3 logic. You know? like, where, where would the ducks live? Right. It's like, like, what would their dwelling look like? It would be a pond, obviously. So. <laughs> you're, not, you're, you're not using your good brain right now. I think, I think it has to be a pond. <laughs> because I, I, I gather that you're thinking more cage, like you would cage your ducks. I mean, uh, no, we have you don't know any, ducks. You do not know a lot about ducks. I, I, I do indeed not know, not know a lot about duck cultivation. And it I shows. Admit, and it I shows. will admit. He's got, he, he, would put, he would put the ducks in a, in a cage, like an animal, like a, a poor uh, animal. Yeah, Zenta69 says, Loftar confirmed duck, duck cager, S-M-H. I can only agree. Damn, so. It's a shame that we find You haven't seen my ducks. <laughs> my my duck pics. Oh, I must send you my duck pics. This is this is quality. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> this is quality quality Thursday Thursday evening entertainment. Y'all. By the way, uh, let's see. Ardennes TV says. By the way, the boar worm dungeons are likely another fulgurite situation. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll tell you right away, I think the chances of them dropping yes, they, are... Yes, the, the, the chances were unreasonably low. Uh, we did increase them with this patch. Oh, we, we did that with this... Oh, we did that with this patch. Yes. Okay, because they used to be one in a hundred, like, cave-in uh, objects. Loose rocks. Loose, loose rock objects, but we changed them to one in ten. Uh, yeah, something like that. Or something to that effect. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, Nine Zard says, 40 year old jokes shaking my head. I, that's my age. I'm acting my age. I, I don't know what to do. These are jokes straight out of 1983. <laughs> Lifted right out. <laughs> Lifted right out. Just implemented as is. Uh, suggestion. Read the forum suggestions. Uh, good, good point. I, I am going to uh, try to, to take some time during uh, the Christmas season to try to get back on the horse in terms of my, uh, my uh, correspondence my correspondence with, with you all good, good folk um, let's see uh, opinion on being able to gild crowns with gems oh you can't can, can, can't you do that wouldn't that be uh, just as controversial as it was to uh, be able to uh, gild um, armor would it wouldn't it? 
I mean, crowns are a hat. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, I'm just wondering. Uh, what's the command for dropping gemstones? Uh, MK gem. Uh, no, no, actually, just MK item. Ruby. Yep. And then I get a random one. Yep. <gasps> it's impossible. Isn't that crazy? Shouldn't you be able to gem up your crowns? Is I'm everyone gonna is ev is everyone gonna wear crowns into battle and stuff? Wouldn't that be cool if they did? <laughs> I don't know. Would it? It wouldn't exactly be uh, be uh, lark lark wise correct. Would well, it? they would have to choose it over the armor at least. They would. They would. I am kind of curious. Uh, I I thought I had I had the idea previously, but I realized at some point that I didn't. And I'm at n uh, right now. I'm kind of curious why it is that everyone is wearing hussar wings into fights. Is it just because of the agility bonus? Yeah, chat, why is everyone wearing Hussar wings? Is it the agility bonus, or is it the fact that they have armor, or what, what's up? It's the armor, right? Armor, yeah, armor. Yeah. Armor, maybe the combination, armor, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Armor, 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 armor. I mean, it is cool, I don't mind that they are being used. It's just, I, I do find it kind of weird that everyone is using them. Only cape with armor. It, it seems to be a bit of both, but uh, armor... <laughs> Armor is the best stat by far, says Snuggle. And then, so, okay, cool. Then we know. So, nerf incoming. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, how, how do we feel about that? Like, I, because I'm kind of thinking, like, it would be fun if there were allowances made for a variety of looks. Made, but perhaps there uh, there should be uh, perhaps there should be new ca new armor capes then. Yeah, maybe maybe we should just increase the the variety. spectrum. The artist spectra of things that you can can do or wear. There, I'm sure there are other th things on that theme, like you know, wearing spikes with the skulls of your enemies and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have, yeah, like we we do have like the the battle standard. You can wear that on your back, right? Uh, kind of samurai style wearing a flag on your back mm, right? but uh, given that uh, it uh, does not have armor then clearly it is useless right yeah I'm just thinking maybe one could incorporate some cool stuff like that into mm -hmm. uh, an armor type design for yeah. a piece of equipment Yeah, because f flag on back is kind of cool right mm -hmm. I'm not sure how practical but I, someone has to carry the flag and carrying it on the back seems kind of cool uh, the Deleted Siege make the game unplayable for... A, no, I don't know. Missed that one. Uh, chat is moving too fast. Uh, armor is more than stats. Okay, cool. Um, Misa, I know you ain't... Uh, buff hooded capes, please. They seem really bad versus two different gilded items, even if they look the coolest. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, thoughts on trolls impersonating you guys on the forums? No, I'm actually I'm surprised that there are still like variant letters left to use to con use to construct something. That oh, did that happen recently? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I deleted see. some some funny man. I see. Who was uh, making jokes? I have been planning to implement the uh, the uh, Unicode script uh, uh, the, the, the restriction uh, the restrictions on usernames where a username may only contain the characters from one script. Ah. But uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit of a hassle because uh, the, the website is written in Python and Python doesn't have uh, a module for Unicode data. How can there not be a Python library? I, I, I also have no idea. It is, it is a mystery to me. I mean, there are Python modules for everything, but for some reason not for this. It is uh, truly, truly... Are super weird. Are you sure about that? I've though? been looking several times. If I mean, it's not like I can't implement it myself. And it just feels like I shouldn't have to. Word up. If anyone has a uh, Python lib for uh, Unicode data, send it to my, my boy here. I know it's not Python 2. Uh, Mm, okay, here we have a hot take from Derman. Ooh, nerf Storm of Swords because it's way too OP in mass fights. Make Siege Machines bash at least 10 instead of 5 minutes. Uh, remove speed buffs if you already removed Bunny Forager buff. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Gakru says, how about removing racial slurs from usernames? Yeah, uh, that could perhaps be a thing. Uh, no immediate thoughts on that, but uh, could be a thing. Um, uh, Zenta69 says, why would you spend time and resources working on a 30-year-old forum software if you could just get new software? Well, in this case, it's not the forum software as much as, as it is the website and the rest of the website. Yeah, you exactly. know, when you register, that's not part of the forum. So, in the long arc of history, we've been talking about having a forum of our own. Like writing a, a, a forum ourselves. I think because there there are a lot of things that we would like to be to to do with the forums that we are kind of cucked from doing right now. Yeah, for one thing, like uh, the forum is really the main thing that is preventing, for example, uh, uh, like uh, being able to change the username of an account. Yeah, and uh, it's also like <coughs> it would be nice if we could have a better tie-in to the game server to like retrieve data and yeah. present like cool. Achievement achievements or and or badges on people or whatever and mm -hmm. we've kind of been discussing a different uh, layout for the forums as well like in terms yeah. of having like a more chan like automatically thread splitting yeah. thing um, rather than having the the old style just top down yep so that's a that's a pretty pretty cool cool project <coughs> Um, Stone Mansion needs a redesign. Would like to build it, but it's too ugly. Yeah, the Stone Mansion isn't nice, is it? It's not super nice, at least. It's, it's just a square box, pretty much. Like, it could be worse. It could be worse, I think, but it's not super nice. It's not super nice. But it's not log cabin atrocious, on the other hand. Uh, or ra rather, timber house atrocious. Indeed. Log cabin is, is better Log than Log cabin is fine. Log cabin is fine-ish. It's better at least. But timber house is <laughs> god-awful. <laughs> should really have a look at timber house. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on this World 15 compared to past worlds? Can you share some curious or interesting data? Not sure. I haven't really thought about that too much. Yeah, no, me neither. I've been, uh, I think it's been, uh, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoyed the world reset a lot. I uh, had fun then. Um, like, uh, what, what would be some interesting piece of uh, information that you would like to, to get? Maybe the uh, number of whales killed. Uh, <laughs> feather, feather trinket chin. Let's have a look at number of whales killed. Uh, feather trinket changes its gilding bonus depending on what burb feather you use when. Eh, it's a pretty spicy <laughs> take there. So. I mean, to be sure, I have I have been resenting the fact that fine feathers of various kinds are more useful. Re really fine birds of various kinds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's an interesting. Uh, we, we definitely want to be. Um, uh, the Mef Pro says I like this world heart. Awesome, I'm glad awesome. to hear it. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Rude's Dude's Attitude says, Thanks for making this game. Enjoy it a bunch. You're welcome, sir. You're very welcome, and thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. And thank you for being here chatting with us tonight. Uh, more uses for verbs. I think anything that makes the verb patches more relevant, I think, I'm pretty stoked about it. Also, weren't waterfalls kind of nice? weren't they weren't they a nice thing? I thought the waterfalls were a nice thing that we did this way. It's something we wanted to do for quite a long time. I I was uh, I was hung up on something that I thought I didn't know how to do, but then you all questioned me about it, and I realized I knew how to do it. Yeah, and here we here we go. People agree. Uh, I love the waterfalls. Waterfalls are really nice. Uh, haven't seen a waterfall, but uh, the stacks are great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they're so pretty. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, ten out of ten. Waterfalls were a good addition. Yeah, 
I, 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 I immensely enjoyed. I would also, I would really like it if we could do something about the shorelines so that we can have like some more modern, cool graphics with like little waves splashing over them or whatever. Arguably, uh, it would be. I think that's also another like uh, fair fairy dust uh, thing above that I would like to add. I think. Uh, uh, yeah, Walker D O says waterfalls is good, but stacks are amazing. Yeah, sweet. How, how do we feel about stacks these days? Are we happy now? Or stacks for everything, infinite capacity? I've been pushing for it. Like he, uh, <laughs> he truly has been pushing for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing my 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 best to stand against the tide of stacking. <laughs> I'm sure you all appreciate my efforts. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I try to explain to him every patch, like no one is going to object to this. It's going to be a, it's, it's going to be a well received change. No one is going to be sad that we added stack into some new item category, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I try, but but he just won't, won't budge. It's like like arguing with, with the, 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 I don't know what the Cyclopean city of Relia. Relia. Uh, cloth 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 stacks. Didn't we fix cloth stacks? I think so too. Check out, check that out. Check, check that for me in the codes, sir. Good sir. Would you mind having a look in the codes? What do the codes say? Yeah, it actually seems not. Ah! Fix it and push it, and then. Uh, well, actually, there may be a reason for a technical reason for that. Expound on the technical reason for it. Uh, I don't think we have a common super type for all the cloth types right now, and I'd like to kind of keep it that way. And I, I, I have been intending to fix these kinds of things by a uh, by by way of an improvement to the object system that I have underway. Okay, why do we not have a common super type for all the cloth types? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we? Have? Arguably not. I mean, I think to the greatest extent possible, it is nice to not have to codify things as part of the, to as part of the uh, internal type structure. What 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 do you mean, my dude? I don't, I don't know that I agree with that. It is it is an arguable thing, but in this case, I would like to I would like to implement this by 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 the mechanic that I that I spoke about the improvement to the object system, whereby I can. Uh, attach methods to uh, to symbolic types. All right, all right. Oh, you, we can't attach methods to symbolic types right now. Only to actual types. Right. Wasn't there something else we wanted that for? Uh, yes, but I don't remember what. No, I, I have it was something we, we talked about relatively recently. I, I have been wanting for, for quite a while to clean up the implementation of various uh, containers like drills, but yes, there was something else we spoke about recently, but I don't remember what. Hmm. Hmm. It wasn't that recent. Let's see. Um, not sure what kind of data would be fine or fun for two percent. Would you like to guess what the most studied curiosity is in this world so far? I'ma guess could be hmm. uh, in I terms of numbers, that is not in terms of LP. Hmm. Again, maybe like dan no, not dandelions, right? It's something that you can mass produce probably. Or something which no, actually, it's not something you can mass produce. Okay, ants, maybe? No, 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 no not ants. No. <laughs> what do you think, chat? What What is the most studied curiosity? Do y'all y'all have any ideas? Uh, Mad Gonad says, "Have you seen the catapult knar?" Yes, I have seen the the catapult knar. I have seen that. Knars block catapults. Hmm. Have you tested that recently, though? Mm. Mm. Did you check the change log? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Fishy eyeball. Uh, more ambient bird sounds, or just bird sounds when they are in render distance. Yeah, I think most of the animals would benefit from. Making more, making more noise. I think uh, 
It is perhaps a good. I, I mean, it's 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 been a somewhat good question. We've been discussing it, I think, primarily for the uh, tame animals, and I think it is somewhat <laughs> controversial whether you want your pens to be a cacophony. Because uh, in in another game that we uh, built way back when, uh, okay. there were animals who made sounds, and uh, it wasn't uh, entirely positive, at least, I'll put it that way. <laughs> like the, the turkeys gobbling all day, every day, <laughs> like there was no end to it. So, uh, but, like... I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah. Because obviously the cows should be mooing, but... Uh, yeah. And pre I mean, it could be just a question of choosing the right sound so that it isn't too obnoxious. Yeah, that and probably like um, just using some sound channel which like restricts how often you play mm -hmm. it. Right. I mean, I think like if if the cow ambient sound plays, I don't know, once every twenty minutes or whatever. Once every second. Yeah, once every second for sure. Mm. I think that would make the most sense probably. Like the cows are pretty loud, so it would stand to reason that they would make sounds and they about once every second. I think that was exactly. I mean, to be fair, I do. Uh, it is my impression that cows are fairly loud. Yeah, but they do, they don't like moo all the time. Not all day, every day, no. but uh, but I think they moo quite a bit. The moo is loud and audible, but like they don't moo. And I mean, they moo, but, <laughs> but like not all the time. I, I was I was I was on a farm literally this summer looking at cows. Yes, me too. Interesting. They didn't moo all the time. Mm, I will admit my memory as uh, my memory of their of their mooing is hazy. <laughs> this was in, a, in the midst of a drug-fueled uh, Huntress Thompson-style binge for him. And of course, <laughs> accidentally, you know. <laughs> Walked through some cornfield and ended up in a, car, you know, in a cow farm. There we go. Um, Patch broke the presence of Yule Stars slash Elven lights. Could this be true? Did you you did? You I did? certainly did not change anything. Yeah, oh, didn't you change the resource thing with the resource R link reference thing? Couldn't that have broken? Oh no, I didn't change it in the end. Uh -huh. Okay, right. Okay, so so we didn't change anything. We didn't change anything. What are you talking about? It was like nothing. <laughs> nothing is broken. Uh, wood roof shingles is the new roof material one. That, that's a pretty well, that's, good one. That's an interesting idea. I'm not sure the uh, texture texture mapping for uh, for the houses are proper for that. No, I mean I think I think if you wanted to do shingles, you would have to do geometry for the houses as well. Mm -hmm. So I mean not necessarily. I think you could have a somewhat uh, convincing effect with the bump mapping alone. But um, yeah, that that is probably true. But um, hmm. Yeah, maybe it might be doable. I mean, mm. I mean, I, again, I think the better question is whether the texture, the the texture mapping of the of the houses are proper for are usable. Yeah, but we could add we could add another texture map to the houses potentially. Another one. It would be possible to support multiple. I guess. I mean, it would, you could do it by by having another sub mesh, quite simply, and, and mapping that in whatever way you wish. Well, that, uh, that would be separate from how the variable materials work, at least. Truly. Truly. Verily. 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 Verily, verily. verily. Uh, Storm's Blade. No, I, we're not going to We're not gonna talk about individual uh, people. Uh, what's your thought about being able to use the same uh, name on many characters? Uh, for your I personal kind of bloodline, the only the only intention there is that you kind of have to pick a new name so that you are it's to it, it, it's enforce the sense of death. Really. Yes, indeed, it's it's really just uh, intended to provide a sense of memento mori. Yeah, exactly. So you can't reuse the exact same user or character name for for the inheritor. Would be uh, really it should really add some sweet particle effects to the to the sleigh here when we are slaying, slaying sleigh queen, forth across across the uh, landscape here. It would be really fairy dusty if uh, there was snow. Arguably yes. Flying about. Bricks as thatching material would be nice. I agree. I think anything that provides more uh, build. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, that would perhaps have the same problem of uh, uh, texture mapping a little bit. 
So what is the most studied curiosity? What do we ah, ah, yes, the, uh, the most studied curiosity by number is, uh, is actually dragonflies. That makes a lot of sense, because they are plenty They are of common, them. but I wouldn't have necessarily have thought they, they were the most studied curiosity. And like, like you, I would have expected something that's reducible. Uh, can, can, you, can you have a guess at the most, uh, most studied curiosity by LP, then, perhaps? Hmm. I will. I, I will admit. I will be impressed if you get it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna guess something like like you know some mass producible metal thing like Tin Warrior or one of the dream dream. Certainly not. It isn't. It is, uh, once again, it is in fact not mass producible. Well, I mean, it is perhaps mass producible, but not by by crafting at least. Uh, I don't know. Tell me. Uh, there's cave angler lights. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. and I can see. I can see why cave anglers are are are. No, uh, uh, the cave, but oh, oh, actual lights as the one that you get from the fish or the herb. It's the herb, right? Uh, are they called cave angler lights? I don't know what their internal name is, but I think they are called cave angler lights. Um, uh, sure. No, PvP uh, Haven says uh, Merry Christmas, deviant Sweden Bros. Merry Christmas, sir. I am so excited, you wouldn't believe. I'm going to be off everything for two weeks, and it's going to be extremely nice. I've been looking forward to it for some time. So, so yeah, we're, we're like, where are they? The grind is pretty real. Um, uh, we saw Storm of Swords on your combat deck. We know why you're not nerfing it now, huh? And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Uh, any thoughts on the charter stone? No, it is, code? Indeed, it is indeed the one from the fish. Really? Yep. Any thoughts on the charter stone code issue? Hijacking the code and using different casing to trick and kill people. What? So. I get the impression that oh right, you just you say similar code to someone else and hope yeah. that people get there. So this is like uh, the the same thing that that was cool with websites back in the days where you would like play you know someone had registered like uh, Google dot com but without the e at the end or something. So when people mistyped Maybe. Google, they ended up on. I mean, it, crazy it, it might not be uh, unreasonable to uh, to uh, uh, treat. Uh, the charter stone names as, as case insensitive, but I'm not sure that would fix the uh, the problem completely. Perhaps it would. Yeah. What do you think about that charter stone uh, K or maybe like hearth secrets codes in general should be case insensitive? What do we? How do you feel about that, Chad? Make uh, all charter codes lowercase, uh, capital letters. Let a charter stone set multiple codes. Hmm. Yeah, do it. Case Why? case insensitive sounds good. So, what would be the use case of setting multiple codes for a single charter stone? That sounds kind of useless to me. No, I don't know. Maybe if you could toggle them individually, then maybe you could give out the code to various groups. Or I have no idea. I have no idea. Sawmills also sound good. I've, I've been I, thinking I have been about arguing for this for a long time, in fact. F for sawmills or for cases yes. for sawmills, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm I'm all about the sawmills. I would be I would be thrilled to make a sawmill, um, just as I would be thrilled to make a uh, a uh, lathe, which is like. Uh, I I'm I'm not sure what he what he meant by sawmill, but I meant like uh, one that you could build build in windmills. I don't know that I would want to build build. It. I think we we should probably expand on the concept of like power generation. Mm -hmm. I think it would be cool to have a water wheel as well. Yes, indeed. But I think uh, that would only be. I'm not right this down. This is this is hot content. Water water wheel plus sawmill would be a great patch. So, and we we, we could obviously connect it to the windmill as well. But like mm -hmm. I'm just saying that like water. Wheel. That's a great patch. And and a nice nice. 
It's always nice when you get a little bit of a meaty object into the patch. A new meaty object. If you know it. <laughs> Is that a giggity? Was that a giggity right there? I think that was a giggity. <laughs> It didn't. I will admit it did not. It did not strike me until you mentioned it. At least. <laughs> uh, Factorio Haven. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be for it. Like, I played. I played. Uh, I mean, that would be fun, but we can't. We can't. <laughs> we cannot simulate the, the Factorio basis of a thousand people. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> I know mm -hmm, this is true, but <laughs> but uh, I don't think that is re I don't think that is realistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that attitude. You only see the problems. You don't see the potential. Fair. Uh, no, but uh, no, we can't we can't go full art hard with it. But um, I want to say that I played a fair bit of Satisfactory earlier uh, this fall, and I found that to be a very fun game. So I, I truly enjoy that experience, but uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, I played with some friends on a dedicated server, but um, um, so Satisfactory was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, but the, the full automation somewhat aside, it would be fun with the sawmill. The, the only thing that I've been kind of thinking about the sawmill is like, is it ever useful? Like, would you ever use the sawmill rather than just sawing up the, the Yeah, I mean, it's a good question, but uh, you could ask the qu the same for the uh, for the, uh, the, uh, the seed mill. That is true, and people do use that one. Mm -hmm. So, so, carry logs to sawmill. Let me make blocks into boards. Uh, crack and for real, that would be huge. I actually, I actually started uh, making. A, I have a, I have a blend file called cracking dot blend, but I'm not going to show it to you because I didn't get super far. And it looks like shit right now. So, uh, so but yeah. Everything you do look, looks like shit. Uh, show us your will consider notepad. Uh, it's actually a uh, will consider VI uh, session these days. So. So, uh, um, but that only makes it more and more exciting to show, doesn't it? That is true. <laughs> um, you have any ideas about further expanding the greenhouse capabilities since mound beds allow you to still plant during winter? Yeah, the... The, the, the greenhouse was just the first implementation, basically. Yeah, exactly. I'm and not I sure we would have added them if we had added mound beds first. Yeah, uh, th I think the, the mound beds and the whole implementation where you can kind of melt the snow around you left the greenhouses in a pretty weird spot. Mm -hmm. And feel entirely... I mean, that's not to say that we can remove content, of course. Are you saying we can remove content? That's not to say that we can remove content. No, 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 no of course not. <laughs> the, the reason they're still in the game is that we can't remove content. So now we've added greenhouses, and now they have to, st to stay in the game. <laughs> it's, I, d I don't make the rules, I just I work here. It's, it's that simple. Um, I find it interesting to note that the, uh, the fumbling this session has taken has, has gone to a new level. <laughs> um, may, oh, the chat was moving fast. Make Make greenhouses usable underground for niche use. Greenhouses that makes absolutely <laughs> zero sense. <laughs> greenhouses underground is extremely based. I love how you think, but um, no, probably not. Like, like more realism, more immersion. Indeed. You, uh, we can't go too crazy with those things. Um, Alchemy quality of life updates would be nice. Okay, that's what, what kind of quality of life uh, alchemy. You see, the, the, any feel entirely free to suggest all the things that are, are like, okay, can be accomplished in like, in like a week, two dev sessions, bam, boom, thank you, ma'am. Uh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Quick implementations. Like a water meal, wheel, or a sawmill, that's a perfect thing. Like we could do one or both of those in a week so that's perfect patch material because we we've been kind of torn between working on bigger things and producing the patches so and that's the kind of usual dilemma that we have but if we have solid ideas for you know the the, the patches in terms of new content and whatnot then bring it on like what do you want alchemy quality of life 
more uh, more useless alchemy, hunting muskets, storm of swords, Christmas hat sale on all previous hats once a year. Uh, greenhouses speed up crop growth. Yeah, see, I, I don't think we can make greenhouses speed up crop growth because then they, I fear that they become mandatory then. Well, I mean, that being said, these days uh, quality true, growth is true, true, time true. independent. True, so true, true. there is that. There is that. Would you like that? Should or should greenhouses spawn? It's just that there, you have so little area in them. Maybe wouldn't it be annoying if you have incentives to like build greenhouses over the entire farm? Yeah, that's language? what I fear. So that's that would be my fear that if we make the greenhouses like too good, then the incentives to spam them are kind of cancerous. So feel free to opine there if, if you think speeding up the uh, 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 speeding up the, the growth timer on uh, crops would be a good idea. Uh, hats on baby goats fix when can you not? How do I spawn a baby baby goat? Uh, you spawn a Billy or a Nanny you know, with uh, no with yeah yeah no I'm just gonna no, with argument grow um, and at the time for them to to grow up which is do I have equal space space not equals <laughs> a day or whatever oh right right right, right. I don't actually want them grow. Oh, my mouse, my mouse wheel. Oh, it is killing me. <coughs> Here we go. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, look, let's, let's fix this. Bah, go. Bah, bah, bah. Let's see. Um, kid. Here we go. Boom, boom. So, which hat should we prototype? You can uh, let's take one of the new ones. Uh, let's, let's go. Oh no. Um, let's go. Oh, I suspect there actually might, uh, it might be that there already is uh, an, uh, an EQ point for it, just that you've misnamed it, because there are two Avacams in the... Let's see, where's the gym? Uh, what are you looking for? The gingerbread thing in the wall. Gingerbread wizard's hat. Oh, perfect. So how do you? How would you like the hat fitted on the goat? Should we do more of a leaning? Cover eyes, yeah. So more of a straight up thing. Would that be better? Do you want it more flat or do you want it kind of pushed back? Tilt it to the side, perhaps. Yeah, we could do we could do like that too. No, which one was nice, Robertson? This one? No. Add both as options when you place it. Yeah, I know. I like that one myself. I think this is nice. What do you what do you think for you? Tilt and cover eyes. Leaning, leaning definitely. Okay, we'll do a little lean, and we'll do that. Maybe that. That's cool, right? This is this is cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll do the this one. Uh, I'm gonna jump into a terminal here, maybe. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do, do step into the, the. I'll be I'll be right back with my attention uh, directed. Entertain the good folks of the stream. Oh, you're so. asking me, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> answer questions. Like if if they have one, maybe then maybe answer it. 
Uh, <laughs> Fixed storm of sorts that killed my brother. <laughs> so that's so that's why I want. I I feel you too sort of have a a a, a bias in this question. <laughs> when raids, what hats would you equip the weather? Uh, <laughs> isn't that a good question? Is there any object in the game that does not deserve a hat EQ? <laughs> uh, no, I think I think most probably do. Uh, so brandy glass, please. I would like that too, but I mean the question with the the the, the problem with all of these um, the vessels is that uh, there's no good mechanic for them. Right. Aren't we in a good spot with the mechanics for that right now? I'm not uh, sure. Actually, the, the, the keyword I'm after is just H, right? Uh, for a hat. EQ. No, I had EQ. Oh. Yes. I'll call this one hat EQ2. Should it be equipped to the IK mover? No, it, it's not actually the IK mover, it's okay. just that the bonus oh, happens right, to be called. Right, right, right. Boom. So. Boom. Boom. See if we can get this this nonsense show on the road. And then we run. And then we minimize. And then we log in. Okay. Let's see if we are doing the thing. If we are doing the thing. Where did my goat go? Oh, I, maybe I didn't save or whatever. No, it's probably up there. Yes, I the other The other goat is up there. Yeah. But uh, the uh, the kid is gone, it seems. This uh, reminds me of the parable of the lost sheep from the Bible, you know? It does. Yeah. In, you know, the, 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 the parable is like, okay, so the man who loses a, ch a sheep, right, he's very, he's sad, right? But his joy is great when the sheep comes back to him. So mm -hmm. he, he, even if he has a lot of sheep, he's still going to be equally thrilled when he gets the one lost sheep back. And this is obviously then a metaphor for how God relates to, to people. That right. is to say, like, God is thrilled whenever a sinner comes mm -hmm. back to God. Mm -hmm. uh, and equally, mm -hmm. I would be... Equally, equally thrilled would I be if I, equally thrilled, <laughs> if I found I be, my lost if I, if I found my lost sheep. <laughs> <okay. laughs> but whatever, let's just make a new one. Um, um, the little... The, the Billy... Road. I could just put four here, right? Yes, but it will grow up very, very fast then. Okay. Oh, it's, it's the time quickly. left, right? Indeed. Okay, I get it. I get, it. I get what you're saying there. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if this uh, checks out. Boom! It's better, doesn't it? What do you think? What do you think? Well, well what do you th 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 think? Uh... Two Rapok says, deep spiritual experience, some mystic location, when you mix all the in-game drugs, could be interesting to go in a holy mental state. You know what would be awesome? If you entered a dungeon by doing drugs. <laughs> you enter like the spirit realm or whatever, that would be <laughs> the sweet. Dream the dream world. The dream world, the spirit realm, awesome <laughs> stuff, man, thank you. We're definitely doing that. Isn't, isn't that a, a, a location in Diablo 2? Spirit realm? Uh, dream world or something. No, that's in Salem. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but uh, but. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. O opium den, opium dragon den, <laughs> opium den. That would be, that's that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, now the oh the memes. Oh, nice. Potatoes, mash them, boil them, stick them in a stew. He wants. Uh, or Nevarius Aurelius wants potatoes, potatoes, some conies. Pretty sure or potatoes are, are, are rejected since uh, since long though. Since time immemorial, we have time immemorial. We take a strong strong stance. Strong stance against uh, potatoes. Exactly <laughs> against the Freemasonic influence of potatoes in the world. Unironically. Unironically. What about? Um, let's see. Uh, slow, slow down, chat. Yeah, Remember this could I'm be a thing, though. 
Yeah. That's sweet potatoes, isn't it? But aren't those from, like, the Pacific? I no, I don't think so. Could be wrong, but I think they are related to the carrot. To the Google machine! I didn't know, man. No, man, that's a new one crop. Or, or maybe, like, Africa or something. I have no idea. Maybe Asia. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. Yams. Yo, 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 yeah, yams. Hmm. Um... Clement says, when you push the very important fix to putting hats on goats, you'll also toss in gems being gildable to crowns, right? A wink. That would be uh, that would be neat. That would be neat, sir. Uh, yeah, and someone asked about ropes between animals, or like ro ropes for roped animals. It would it would be nice, but the problem is that given that the distance varies a bit, I'm not sure it would look nice. Especially, uh, I mean, it would be one thing for the sleigh, perhaps, where it doesn't differ that much, but but for um, you know, for leashed animals, I'm not sure it would actually. Couldn't one actually just do some physics simulation of a rope? Oh, well, I mean, that would require a lot of information about uh, about bounding boxes that the client doesn't really currently have. But the client should have information about the box. Well, perhaps, perhaps not. That is debate. Okay. This is a controversial issue that we've been debating for some time. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Barrel rack, yeah, barrel rack and log rack would also be uh, cool. Um, increased capacity of extraction press to reduce tedium of getting flax seed oil. Uh, well, it does indeed seem that yam is and that yams are a new world crop. I didn't think so. Boom! I told you so, son. Yeah. Got schooled. Mm. Um, we currently only have two backpack options. Uh, can there be more types? And we are also unable to stack on Creo, which means they're pretty much useless. What do you mean? Backpacks and Creels surely are not incompatible. No, he means that what he means is that you can't make stacks and creels. Oh, right. Is that as it should be? No, it is not, but it is difficult to solve. Yes, that was one of the reasons we wanted the uh, the method things, wasn't it? I don't think so. I don't think that is. I don't think that would uh, solve that problem. Hmm, maybe not. Um, revamp the instruments. Add more notes and enable polyphony. Some of the instruments, I think, are polyphonal. Hot spicy takes there. Um, hats on quest giver toads. Good marketing, my dude. Yeah, the the only problem there is the bounding box. Actually, you you yes, encounter right. the bounding box of the boulder upon which the toad is sitting before you encounter the actual toad, mm -hmm. which is a silly problem, but it is a problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, hard level. Yeah. Alternative backpack, I suppose maybe that could happen. But what, what, what would differentiate the backpacks though? Are, are, are we just pushing for more in inventory here? Or? Uh, back. Pack. How do you feel about more inventory, sir? Well, I mean, it could be a simple uh, variation of giving a row instead of a column. That's. Oh, well, maybe, but that's kind of interesting. Um, silk, leather, beef jerky, when? Beef. Jerky one, like so like dried dried meats, cured cured meats. What do you how do you feel about cured meats? Another meat variant up your up your up the wazoo. Yeah, well, and there is there's the cured. question of the of the combinatorials of these things. I know for sure. It's not like we could smoke cured roasted bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you were thinking about the different kind of combinatorials, but I think <laughs> we could just go full retard and make everything. Everything with everything. <laughs> Pickles, pickled meat, pickled eggs. I'm yet to taste a pickled egg. Have you tasted a pickled egg? No, I have not, but I have been intending to uh, to uh, to make them. Sweet. I'm, I am I would be all up for trying pickled eggs. It sounds kind of yummy. I like eggs, and I like like pickled things. So, I mean, it, obviously it sounds kind of nasty, but like you get what I'm saying. I, I think it could be good. <laughs> I'm 40 years old, so like, it's me eating... <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> like me eating uh, like nasty old man type foods is now perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Smoked, cured, spiced,
pickled dried meat, pickled sausage. Let's go. Yes. F. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pickled stuff. But some people are of the controversial opinion that we shouldn't add more food types and that it's just uh, not nice when we add Yes, but I mean that's just untrue, so... That is true. That is just not... That is just not... That is just factually incorrect. I think that's very to say. You know what, my friend? Why don't you go fill up our teacups and I'll enjoy the, and entertain the, uh, the, the people, Nina. I feel a dearth of Of tea. course, I will run your errands for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Snooze when? Uh, th that's a good point. We have a pipe weed, so snooze would be good. Would be snooze would be excellent. Do you do you guys have that in America now, or like in, in other places other than Sweden? Is snooze a thing in internationally? International. Zin, yeah, zin I is mean, a thing. Bortusk snuff when? Ah, that's true. Bortusk snuff for shell, for shell. Uh, Koromi says, it would be cool if the woods influenced the coppers. It would be cool if we could have instanced variable materials. Well, that being said, I mean, I think you could make the argument that for coppers it's not, it's not really a problem as this. Would it not be a problem also for chests? Well, I mean, coppers can only exist indoors. So there's a limit to the numbers of them. We'll be doing that for sure. <laughs> Words. That's a good point. Uh, I'm sorry I missed your answer to the stacking of fish and creel. Is that a bug or was it intentional? I think it is not intentional. It should be fixed, but it is, a di it, is, it is quite a difficult problem to solve. And what is the problem more specifically? Expound on the problem. It's all a blur to you, right? Yeah, I don't remember it right now. I, I don't remember the details right now. Um, fish and creel. Um, fish stacking, please. Do do do. Sleeping bags, so double beds. Sleep with the homies. Love to see it. Um, more more boat. You nerfed bows hard. Yeah, it's the same old story at Robertson when like its bows are either OP or. Did we? I thought we buffed. I thought we buffed them. What did we do to nerf them? I had a request a while back in one of the rare Discord PMs that I did read, where someone wanted me to nerf bows. So I don't. I don't know. I only remember us doing the uh, the thing where we. Mazel Elvin said. Maze Elvin says bows are very good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a cacophony of opinions on this matter. Mm -hmm. How unusual. How unusual. Uh, reducing hunger on baked goods. Are baked goods bad now? Chat, are baked goods bad? Should we buff baked goods? I think that that has been yes. a request previously too. And yes. There might yes, be yes, 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 yes. I think there may be some truth to okay. it. Sweet. So there, I mean, the, uh, we actually do not seem to have a cacophony here. They, 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 <laughs> there seems to be a chorus of yes. Indeed. And they want the Baker Credo to work with baked goods as well. Baker Credo. No, you mean the new Credo, right? No, no, they want the they want the cook credo to double like the, the, the amount no, of dough. Right, okay, okay, right, but see, they're okay. not food items, so it doesn't so I see. you get what's going on there. Yes. Baker Credo for Dough and uh, buff baked goods. Baked goods. Sweet. Ah, oh, right. We can solve the can solve the archery attacks when moving. I guess that's what he's referring to by nerfing archery. That is. Oh, uh -huh, right. The thing where passengers can shoot from boot from boots boots from boots anymore. from a boots to boots. Buff uh, all foods that have specific and unique ingredients is a hot take. It's could I suppose that's probably true that some of the more complex uh, food items could probably uh, do need to be buffed in order to be worth making. Them. I'm I'm not sure how much they would be. <laughs> they would need to be buffed to be worth making. Probably quite a bit. Uh, yeah. For example, the cock or cream. 
would uh, perhaps yes, uh, require a buff. Coco creme. Co <laughs> Coco creme. <yeah. laughs> Maybe we should rename it to Coco creme <laughs> to make it less obvious. <laughs> um, Explain parchment lanterns and custom sketch preview page. I think the texture mapping is a bit weird. Oh. Maybe I'll have a look at this. Is, this is good stuff. I have, I have a whole list of things. I think we discussed it when, uh, when we added them and you thought it was perfectly fine. Show me. Um, Show me on the here. doll where the bad man touched. But we display them with full party. No, that's your very right. No, I mean, yeah, it is. Uh, but go back to the paper that parchment lantern. Yeah, so what's the problem? I mean, it's a bit weird. I can see someone not really understanding how the texture is mapped, right? This is, uh, this is a lot more understandable. I mean, yeah, but, but how would you communicate? I I think my argument was that the uh, the uh, the sketch was should uh, should really only be projected on one half, so that you get the image on like the front of the lantern, rather than being wrapped all around. But if we showed this from a different angle, or if you rotated this ninety degrees, I mean, it's it's repeated, right? Yeah, but I assume if you rotate it, you would still see most of the, the image, maybe? I don't, I don't think so. Maybe, 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 maybe have a look at it. I don't know. Please bring back porticos. Bring back porticos. What, what was the last implementation of porticos? What did they do? They were as a source of charter stone travel. So you could travel two charter stones from porticos? Yes. Exactly, but why? Why aren't thing walls enough? Because you you, you don't want to be arsed to go outside. Robertson says, "Why are volcanoes so useless at Burbo?" I I, th I I I suspect that you haven't discovered their use, sir. Which is understandable, to be fair. Which is understandable because we don't communicate it anywhere. But uh, I, I maybe think that they're not is useless. I, I tell me. Um, uh, the Grimmer 9 says it would be great if after streaming you could post on the forum a list of things that you have noted and therefore will consider based on the advice from the community. Is this feasible? Yes, this is feasible. I will do this. I shall do this. This post list. I will but will that it. not uh, only create resentment and disappointment when we don't follow it? Mm. I've only written down things that I'm willing to do. Yes, but willing to do does not equate will do. No, but I mean we need we need we need the the patch material. So I'm the, most of, no. I mean I can't promise all of these tomorrow. Obviously, it's only goats that we fix instantaneously. Our <laughs> um, TV says your current thing wall building protections are a joke, and popular ones either have palisades built on top of them or scout alts camped at them. The popular ones. The popular thing ones. The ones where... Yeah, where what, exactly? Where many people live, near important places. I'm pretty sure he means something like that. Post uh, notes on for Shall we post the notes? Loftar being, Loftar is being a Grinch. Spear and shield when? Oh, there was a cool draft from the window. It was, I really appreciated that. That's really nice. <laughs> markets nearby, yeah, like the thing wall by the markets, for example. Right, Could right, right, right. right. I thought I thought markets only use charter zones. Um, are you guys aware that the new thing wall teleportation placement often places you in water, even when on a horse? Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Like are, we're not talking deep water, right? We're talking shallow water, I hope. Visit in every thing water, wall saying, in... Yeah, that does sound... That in does deep sound water, deep water, that's not, that. that's not good. Can you look at that one? Yeah, I guess I can, but... but I you don't have to do it right now, I'm just okay. like, could we remember to have a look at this? I I cannot, I cannot, I cannot make any guarantees about my memory, but uh, uh, I will try to. I'm going to make a note of this. I'm, I'm going to make a note. Please... Is people in 
the more deep ocean forageables, how do you feel about that? I don't know, like the ocean is the ocean is kind of tricky. Like it's just A it's blue desert. B there are, there's no diff maybe maybe like there should be more like storms and shit so that it is actually more differentiated in terms of how you can move across it. Yeah, I mean we've discussed that. Yeah. When we first added oceans, but we never we've never come around because to it. it seems like if it's just a big skating rink where you put a forge or a bot and have it traverse the map back and forth, then maybe that's not super interesting. Mm -hmm. But that being said, it would uh, maybe we shouldn't design the game to prevent forge or bots either. Um, yeah, deep. Uh, what 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 doth one find on the deep ocean? Like so sea foam is a thing, maybe. Like uh, the Mia Shaun. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is a good question. It's not like you go. It's not exactly as if you go foraging on the deep ocean in real life. Maybe maybe some fish type thing. Like fishes, fishes like a a school of fish that you can forage. Just pick fishes swimming in the ocean. Yeah. I mean, you can fish in the ocean as it is. Yeah, but uh, I'm thinking some some trawling. Yeah, trawling could be cool. <coughs> uh, is there any item that has not been discovered by players yet? Yeah, blue truffles, for <laughs> sure. So, blue truffles. Um, it actually looks like white truffles haven't been discovered either. Hmm. That's that's a bit more. That's a bit more weird. Thing walling across continents, costing resources or additional travel weariness. I don't know, man. Like I've, I've kind of, we've played around with with many versions of, of of like not having good fast travel, and arguably we still don't have like, okay, you can't just willy nilly teleport anywhere, but like adding costs to travel, we do have like travel weariness or whatnot. It, it's it, it's not like a path that I'm longer excited to go down. I just think the game is more fun generally when you can play with your friends and go places and see things. So, uh, like because because way back when we kind of had these, we were I suppose more into ideas of like localization and you know having uh, you know the, the 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 old meme idea about being a traveling merchant, for example. But I just don't. I just don't kind of see it. It's, it's more of a meme than anything else. Blobfish on deep ocean. Yeah, blobfish could be a thing for sure. For sure. What's a blobfish? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, Google blobfish. I think it's a thing. I think it's like a deep ocean fish that they've pulled up to the surface and then it's kind of uh, exploded, I suppose. Right, right, yes, that seems to be a thing. Um, maybe bashing boats with someone inside should require vandalism. No, I'm sorry, Kim, could you repeat that? Maybe bashing boats with someone inside the boat should be counted as vandalism. I'm not sure vandalism would even be the right thing, like battery, if anything. Maybe. <laughs> maybe murder, rather. <laughs> Uh, make KO'd hearthings float on water instead of drown before they port home. Uh, many sp spruce caps lost to the water in this way. Yeah, wa water isn't a bit of a weird place, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the game surely needs less dying, right? <laughs> less danger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe not, but, but water is kind of weird. It is. Relative to everything that. else, it's like super lethal considering it is, it is. compared to everything else. It is, it is. True facts, true facts. These are true facts, nevertheless. Uh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll leave that. Remind me uh, next stream. Swimming is not intelligent, says Robertson, and drowning is also retarded. Less dying based. Loftar loves the spruce cap. <laughs> Get this man presents. Christmas time is coming, so I'm sure he's gonna get his <laughs> fill everywhere. A big fountain, a big fountain could be cool. It's just, it's only decorative. Like, 
Do we? How do we feel about dec ob ob objects that are strictly decorative? How do we feel about? I mean, we do have the small fountain already. Yeah, I know. I know. We have quite quite a few items that are strictly decorative. Yeah, I know. I know. I, know, I realize. No, but it's like maybe we should have a more developed system for statuary, right? In general. What do you mean by that? Like, for example, being able to make a statue of a wolf or a bull. Well, perhaps, but that does not equate a fountain. No, but what I'm thinking is that a large monumental type fountain is usually a statue pouring water in some way or fashion, right? I mean, not necessarily. No, but what the way, the thing is, when I make, and this is my argument against more houses as well, I make one fountain, right? And I, you know, I don't even, you know, begin to kind of probe the possibility space of what a fountain could look like if I make one monolithic fountain, right? This is true. I think it would be a f more fun implementation if the fountain was a base that you could kind of customize in some way or, mm -hmm. or if it were something where you have an influence of how it actually turns out, like freeform building type thing, you know? For sure. So, uh, so, and hence my mind raced to the next thing that would be required then for that, namely statue, or being able to, like, let's say you could take any arbitrary animal that you knew and make a statue out of it. And then we would, that would be, that would be a big implementation. Then we would have to, uh, like, re-texturize all the animals and make them perhaps give them relevant poses and stuff but it could be cool though it could how do you feel about animal statues my friend are, you, are we excited i'm not sure i'm not sure what are the pros and cons Well, I mean, animal statues would be one thing, perhaps. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's setting yet another pres precedent for things that must be present in, an, in every animal of it. Sketch paddable 3D models for custom fountains. Yeah, it would, be, it would arguably be kind of funny if they could upload their own... Like, yes, emotion. perhaps, but then you could make literally anything. Then th th that would obviously not be limited to fountains, let's just say. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. No, yeah, but, unle but we could confine it. Like, we could say that the statue needs to be placed on this base or whatever. We could, be, we could you know, th they need to build a base and then they can build a cost custom model on top of the base and it needs to kind of be within a certain size constraints or whatever. Well, I mean, you could make completely non nonsensical models, obviously. For, cert for sure, you could. You could. But maybe that's fine. Maybe it's not fine. Well, I mean, you know, I think it's one of these things, and creativity is nice and all, but I think, you know, there has to be some kind of game mechanics to it, doesn't there? Otherwise, otherwise one isn't necessarily better than the other. Doesn't matter, I mean, they, they are decorative, strictly speaking, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we we are talking about decorative. Well, I mean, we did this for sketches for a reason. Did what? D impose restrictions on them. I'm not saying there shouldn't be restrictions. I, I agree that there should be restrictions. So, so. No, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's not important that we add uh, custom 3D models for for D I C K statues uh, in any rush, but. Uh, uh, ni nice to, to, to consider. Embrace the LARP. The people want the LARP. Oh, show. Sure. Yes, I mean, I do want to embrace the LARP. I'm just uh, wondering. <laughs> Let's just say I, I can see this turn into things that are very non LARPy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can already add any custom 2D art. Is adding custom 3D art going to be any worse? I think it could get pretty bad. Have you seen, like, Second Life? Second Life is pretty wild, right? I haven't actually seen much of Second Life, to be honest. But I, I think it was a thing back in the day to troll Second Life and do crazy stuff in Second Life. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really know what the status of that is or what happened to that. I mean, I'd like to consider it. It's just, uh, it's, it's really just a question of how to implement it in a way that would be reasonable. Yeah, for sure. Show, show, my dude. Uh, new version of mannequin statue that renders everything on it. That's the 
stone type it's made of, then I can make cool chess boards. Yeah, I mean, uh, in theory, uh, I think that sounds cool, but uh, in practice, it's non-trivial. Um, Clement says, what do you think about adding a pike, a steel version of a spear? How do you feel about pikes? Well, I mean, new weapons would be fun, for sure. I'm just not sure the combat system allows for them to be interestingly, interestingly varied. Yeah, I, I suppose that's the, the kind of biggest issue, is that their combat system maybe doesn't support super high degree of variance in the weapons. So... Well, maybe maybe we should just, you know, add some more attacks or whatever. Like, oh, ooh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should just give the pike some unique attack that is reasonably good. Maybe that would be sufficient to make pikes a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But the wild and, wild and crazy idea, but, but uh, more attacks. I, I think, like, one, one approach to balancing that I kind of unironically like is just adding more things and make obfuscating it by, uh, by making it... implementing so much nonsense that you can't kind of figure out what's good and what's bad. I'm not sure this works. Maybe not. You're not sure, but... Uh, I am not sure. But, uh, I am just saying that people do, uh, did, did at least uh, have uh, spreadsheets for uh, food recipes, so it's not like the it's not like the space cannot be probed. For sure. For sure. Definitely. Um, Mr. Sebakim, adding more weapons for the sake of variety is good, at least aesthetically. Yeah, no, I, I don't argue that it, that it wouldn't be aesthetic. Um, quality scaling for pockets. Yeah, I brought that up with uh, L Dog here, but he wasn't thrilled about quality scaling for pockets. <laughs> you were not thrilled about that, right? <laughs> not super thrilled. Word up. So, so no. Hard, hard no. Perhaps not hard, no, but... Uh, well, well, like, one thing one could do is, like, you know, let them scale up with quality, but then also scale them down with, like, a square root or something. That you, like, you, you let them scale with quality, you sum up the total amount of pockets that you would do, and, you, and then you apply a square root to, to that value, and that is the number of pocket, extra pocket slots that you actually get. I mean, I mean that, that that's would, kind of that how, would how deep we off their current values. Yeah, but the square root of one is one, right? Yeah, oh, well, true. If you add more, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Open two ideas, though. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's how we've balanced like dungeon hearts and whatnot. And I guess that's worked out okay. So please, no quality scale. Please, no quality scale. Okay, maybe not. Um. Will you guys ever revisit the con health changes you had proposed for World Start? It seemed like it had a lot of potential. Yeah, um, um, I, th I think we will revisit it probably, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a nice idea, but I'm not sure how to proceed on it, I guess. There's a lot of math there that needs to shake out uh, correctly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so, uh, like in theory, I agree with you. With but like in practice, when we tested it, it was just dumb and broken. So, um, so uh, yeah. In theory, uh, we like it as well. Obviously, otherwise we wouldn't have uh, thought about it or tried to add it. Um, a way to turn blocks into boards so we can use some bushes. <laughs> what do you feel about that one? About that? <laughs> I'm fine with how it works currently. I, I'm fine with some things just not being available. He settles for less, this man. <laughs> I'm not sure that's that's actually what it means. I'm not sure full arbitrariness is, is necessarily more. Mm. Yeah. 
Renan Muru says, can you fix double wings clipping? You mean double Hussar wings, right? Careful what you wish for, sir, because I think the fix is to make it so that you cannot have double Hussar wings. What do you mean by clipping? They probably Z fight them if you were no, to. I, I mean, they, they should draw identically. All right, then I don't know. Then I don't know. Then I don't know. I want a full house made of tea wood. That, sir, is a mere sketch away. No, wait, no, it's not. No, no it's, it's not. not. It's not. Uh, all right. When you wear ant wings and bee wings, they clip in strange. Okay, that I can look at. Oh, can you wear both of them at once? I thought probably for the same reason that you can wear double hussar wings. I thought they only equipped one. What are they? What are those called? Like queen ants, queen bee wings. Queen bee wings indeed, and then probably queen ant wings as well, right? Oh look, I'm a little fairy! Oh, there. Okay then. They do. Uh, they do have quite a few slots. No, oh, right, they need to get rid of the, the backy packy. Backy packy indeed. Yank, 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 yank. Hmm. Could perhaps, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 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 I agree that that is not optimal, sir. So. Queen and B. Um, candy canes do not stack. Is that a bug or a feature? They're food. No food stacks, right? They, I don't think they're food. Uh, or, uh, I, I remember them as curiosities, but I, I think they're both. I might be misremembering. Maybe. It would make a lot of sense for candy cane to be food. It would? Verily. 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 They're going to be in a hard little backpack. Yeah. Um, my friends and brothers in Christ, we are coming up on two hours of this. Uh, we are approaching the mark. So, uh, and I think that's our cue to wind this session down. This was productive, I felt. I feel I have a whole little, uh, little uh, list of... Uh, Little stuff. list, little list of stuffs here uh, that we c that are addressable. Uh, eating all the mushrooms says thank you for the stream. This has been great. GG, nice stream. Merry Xmas, guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, th th thanks a lot for tuning in. I thought it was productive. I thought we found found some good uh, stuff to to address. And I actually I actually like the um, just the workflow of just taking bugs from the audience and just looking at them right away and. Fixing you mean like on the forums? <laughs> no, I mean doing it now in a live session where we're actually, you know, responsive and, and uh, on top of things. For sure. Whatever. I, I thought that was fun. So and may maybe we should uh, like consider inviting people and, and doing doing this more often. I it's usually I build up a bunch of like anxieties like oh I'm gonna have to do a stream and blah, blah and it, like weighs on me and and uh, then when I do them they're always a lot more fun and enjoyable mm -hmm. than than I kind of fear that they will be because there is a bit of work like setting it up and, and you know announcing it imagine ever publicly committing to doing anything ever <laughs> am i right <laughs> imagine imagine could not be me <laughs> totally not be me I, I, <laughs> stream every dev session huge advertisement for your game that, that could actually be would it be a huge advertisement uh, it could be fun we could try we could try doing it once at least see what happens <laughs> <laughs> Should we try that? You want to try that? <laughs> try that. That would mean we would have to speak English, though, during the dev session. Yeah, I know, but we, like we we could stream like two hours of the dev session, yeah, sure. and then we could tune tune them out. And Perhaps. Perhaps. That, 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 I, I'm up for that. That could be a, an interesting idea. Um, 
So uh, honestly, streams would help the game, I think. Maybe once a month. Yeah, I used to do the monthly, but uh, but stream every dev sponsored by Hel HelloFresh, for sure. <laughs> uh, uh, helping Handera says you can speak Swedish fine, fine by me. Ah, that looks great. Do you hear me there? You're good. I go bar and share me. That is that, that <laughs> indeed being how we normally speak. <laughs> Merry Christmas, uh, you all, dear ones. Uh, thank you so much for this. I, this was very enjoyable. I yes. had a lot of fun. Um, remember that uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. Indeed. Um, have a wonderful time with your friends and family and your dear and loved ones and uh, a wonderful new year as well. We will be back on the other side of the new year. I imagine that we probably get back on the horse first week of January. I don't know, maybe second week of January. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, awesome stuff. Yes. Arigato. This was this was this Christmas. was great. And Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas from all of us to all of you. A very Merry Christmas. Yes. Have a good one. Thank you for all your support this year. Ta ta. <laughs> good night. Sleep well when you do. <laughs> <laughs>